everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Amber. If you don't know me, if you do know me, you know my name's Amber. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this Fallout 76 look with the one and only ah, Jeffree Star's Jawbreaker palette. I have wanted this palette since it came out and I had a really bad day at Glastonbury on the Saturday. So I wanted to buy a palette just to console myself when I got back and it has done more than console me. I am content with it. I love this. This is my first ever Jeffree Star purchase and I think it worked really well. The only one I have a quarrel with is the yellow. It's a bit, it's a bit patchy on my skin but maybe it's the concealer I used because I used a different concealer than I usually do so maybe it's that. But if you want to know how to do this look or you're a fan of Fallout and just are here for the lols then keep on watching. First I'm going to be using the primed and ready my collection for to prime my eyelids now that we're all primed and ready okay now that we're primed and ready well we weren't ready because we've only just put our soft light on i just looked down and was like talked to the camera like yeah this and that and this and that look down i had to start again so the main part of this video is this baby that's why I got all this on. It's a celebration, baby. Okay, so I bought this from Beauty Bay on Saturday, I believe it was. While I was at Glastonbury. And the colours are stunning. Today I'm going to be using it to create a fallout look because I love the blues and I love the yellows in it and Blue and yellow equals fallout, so if y'all don't know what fallout is, this, I got fallout 76, so that, and it's got glitter all over it, damn. Like, that's the type of thing I'll be doing, but they normally have blue, so I'm like, you'll see, you'll see. This is the palette, I've never used it before, I've like done a few swatches on my arm, if you can see there where they've stained a little bit. See, some people were saying that some of the colours do stain, and honestly, I don't care. I'm ready to make that type of commitment to makeup. So, if as long as it gives me beautiful colours on my eyes whenever I want, then I don't care if it stays forever. For my, for my first colour, I'm so happy that I get to use this for the first time, okay? For my first colour, I'm going to be using Brain Freeze. Now I'm going to be taking... Now I'm going to be taking the soaked, that's just what it's called guys, I'm going to be using the 16 hour camo concealer by e.l.f. So with this concealer I'm going to be drawing these vault looking things on the Fallout logo, hopefully this works. Now I'm going to be going in with the Wow from Jeffree Star's Jawbreaker palette. Next I'm going to be taking this shade Delicious to give some dimension to the vault. Next I'm going to be using I.I. I. Captain's Eyeliner. Now I'm just going to leave this eye alone and I'm going to go onto this eye to write the 76 part of Brain Freeze again. And now I'm going to be using, I'm going to be putting some concealer under my eyes and then I'm going to be going in with the licorice right here. Now I'm going to go in with to the 76 with this wow again. Now I'm going to be using the eye Captain Eyeliner to line around, like, behind the 76. I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to do a flick. I'll see how it goes. Next I'm going to be using this brand new, oh god, Infallible 
Lumini Luminizing Primer by L'Oreal Paris. Okay, right now I look really gross. <laughs> Next I'm going to be taking Naked Skin by a Urban Decay. Next I'm going to be using this banana powder, baking powder by Revolution. And now I'm going to go in with my Define and Conquer by 17. Now I'm going to be going off screen and putting these Sparkle and Shine eyelashes on. They cost me a pound, I believe, from uh, mm, the Home Bargains. Actually, pretty nice. This is the L'Oreal Paris exclusive collection by Blake. I'm going to be using um, my Smolder Cosmetics Loose Glam Dust. It's in this because again, I've been to Glastonbury and I've, I I basically didn't wear makeup while I was there, which was quite shocking, but it was blistering hot, so I wasn't really feeling like melting my makeup off halfway through the day anyway. And this is the finished look. I'm not sure if I'm really feeling it. These, these eyelashes are pretty crap. They, they make my eyes feel really droopy and they look really cartoony. But once I get like, maybe I could take the gems off and do that little spoolie thing that people do and they might look a bit better. I just, all I can see is blackness right now. If you're a Fallout fan, then add me on PSN. My PSN is Anais Nate. I'll write that down because you might not know how to spell it. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. I'd really appreciate it and it, all, it helps my channel grow and... If you want to see more makeup looks, then follow me on Instagram. My name is 80 Years Average. I post more looks on there whenever. I don't really have a timetable for Instagram. So I'll see you all next time. Bye!